What is happening, people of the interwebs? It's Todd Frazier, and in this video, we talk about should you use a boom arm for your podcast or a desktop stand? Uh -huh. Everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I love podcasts. I've said it a million times before, and if you've any ever seen any of my videos, you know that I love podcasts. So the big question that I have a lot of times is, should I use my boom arm here that's really super awesome articulating boom arm that looks very professional, or should I just use a simple desktop stand? The reality is, it doesn't matter. If the microphone is held up so that you don't have to worry about it, then that's the, that's the point. You don't want to be touching it. You don't necessarily want to hold it. Now, one thing I will say about this kind of a setup with, with this articulating arm, it's really, really cool looking. And function-wise, it's great because I can sit back and I can move around and I can take it with me. It, it depends on your podcast. Do you have a guest format? Do you want it to look a little more elegant the the uh, or intimate, rather, the show that we're doing from the Heart Podcast with Ed Hart? We are actually going to be using a round table right here, and we're going to be using desktop microphones because it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and it's going to be a really intimate thing. I mean, from the heart, obviously, if you can tell from the title, it's going to be something like that. So maybe it depends on the style of show that you're doing. In the, in the Trending Stories Taking Over show that I do with Jake, uh, where it's just a fun podcast like conversation joke style thing these are great because i can move them around it's it's very radio broadcasty looking it's mostly preference i really like this this is the blue microphone one it's a hundred dollars i think on amazon uh, and this mic right here it's an on stage this is the one you can you can go up and down is sometimes that's too high i also have this guy this shorter one but for me because i'm a little taller that's a little bit far away and if you notice the further the mic gets away the sound isn't as good it's still good but it's not as good. So I like to have the mic right up here as much as possible. It's a lot of preference and it's a lot of what do you have? What do you have available to you? Because the first thing you need to do is, is start recording. You don't need to be waiting for the perfect right equipment because then you're not going to have done any podcast and you're going to be behind the eight ball because all that time you could have been making content you weren't. I really like the articulating arm for some things and I don't like it for others. Oh, the other thing you could do is you can just use a boom arm stand like a regular microphone stand here and that works actually really great. And instead of using a lapel mic so that it's really good audio for the podcast audio recording, I don't use lapels. I use just these boom arm floor mic stands and that works really well too. You guys, the answer is use what you have or use what you like. It's up to you. Don't let making this decision stop you from recording your first podcast or your 75th podcast or your 1027th podcast. Make sure that you're recording and if it doesn't look exactly right, doesn't matter. It's all about the content. It's all about the conversations and stories that you're telling to inspire or inform your audience. And that's the answer. The answer is just do do the thing. <laughs> just do the thing. It's real. It's true because I use all the, all different kinds. And if I didn't have if I didn't have the ability to have this, I would probably be using a desktop or I would just be using these. I actually really like these a lot. So that's it. Do the thing. Whether it's on your phone or it's on an upgraded uh, podcast setup like I've got here, doesn't matter. Just record it. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, make sure that if you have any questions or comments, put them below because I'd love to answer any questions you've got. Get out there, burn your plans, and do things.